Hello, friend. Welcome to Android Chess in Kotlin. This is Golden Thumb. In this video, let's try to add a button to reset the chess game. Okay. So, for example, if we click the button reset, then we'll put all the pieces. We'll reset the game, right? And put the all the thirty-two pieces in its original its initial locations. Okay, let's get started. So we'll go to the the layout and XML file first. So here is the layout. We have activity main here. This is our chess view, right? We have only view on the screen here. And our plan is we'll put a linear layout. Layout is a view, is a container view, a group, group view. It will group the other uh, children views. So we'll put a vertical um, linear layout. Um, then we can, yeah, which contains our chest view and uh, under it a button. Okay, so Let's create a linear layout like that. And we'll put our chess view and a button under it like that. Okay. So for the button, we can do that. So linear layout. We can move this one to here and uh, the width and height, okay? Android width match parent, yes. And the height match parent. Gravity, gravity center, right? We want this, our stuff to be centered on the screen. And the direction, orientation, orientation, vertical. We want to put our button under it, right? So for our button, um, why it's like that? We need Android, right? Android layout with, okay. The help doesn't <laughs> help actually. So The layout is um, width. We this time it's not. <laughs> we don't need a a super wide, um, as wide as the screen width. So we can use wrap content. Okay. Now height. This one. Yeah. Wrap content again. And uh, what's the title of the um, the button? Reset, right? Text equals. Uh, we can put the reset here, but a better way is to use the string constant, like like that. Add the string. App name. No, we need to define the reset there. Is inside here the value string. So let's create another line under the resources. So give a name like reset button and uh, reset. Okay. Now we can use it here. 
install that re reset button okay now if we run it we should be able to see the button of course it there's no functionality of that run it reset button no the reason for our uh, missing button is the our custom chest view used up uses up all the screen real estate okay so we can change that behavior go to the um, our view so let's override another method on measure okay so we use the minimum of the assigned width and height to set uh, measure the dimension okay so let's get the smaller of our width measure spec and the height measure spec and put it here as the side right square side of our um, our view our custom chest view okay so smaller here and smaller here now with that our game board won't use all the this area here so we have rooms right uh, or our button yeah has its own room under the this square okay now give it a try yeah cool so you can see our our reset button here now my friend you will say what if it's in uh, landscape mode okay um layout layout the system in android is really messy okay so if you google if you are trying to find out the uh, answer to your right pro um specific like requirement you see a lot of noise on the internet so we don't want to uh, go too deep in here so our solution is very simple we just limit the orientation to land uh, to portrait only so we can go here this guy the manifests here Android manifest this is our um, it, it defines the uh, application here for example our right our this is our chess game and its app name is uh, well it's label stream okay so what we need to add is an attribute here for our activity right our main activity so android uh, screen orientation portrait yeah so we'll limit the orientation to portrait only okay um, reset okay so here is our um, our layout file okay so we can simplify this one like that 
to remove this so basically we are using the linear layout to a vertical right vertical linear layout to arrange our chest view and uh, uh, a button below it and we limit the orientation of the app to portrait only so um, yeah it works for our um, Android chess game and uh, let's try it again make sure it still works and in the next video we'll try to add the logic to this this button okay yeah thank you for watching see you next time